The 90mm self-propelled anti-tank artillery unit is one of a whole range of vehicles designed for the German army since the 1950s. Two more vehicles from this family went into serial production, the Jag Panzer Rakit, anti-tank missile system, and the Martyr BMP. The first prototypes were built by German firms Ganemag and Henschel and Swiss Moag in 1960. The Germans developed a number of more prototypes before the final model was adopted. Serial production of the vehicle began in 1965. Henschel and Ganemag built approximately 375 SAU each before production was curtailed in 1967. The main trump cards of the JPZ 4-5 tank fighter were its low silhouette and mobility, the vehicle has a very high speed on highways and off-roads, both forward and reverse. The hull of the vehicle is welded from sheets of rolled armor steel. The most powerful armor is the frontal part of the vehicle, the maximum thickness of armor in this place reaches 50 mm. The combat compartment occupies the front part of the hull, while the engine and transmission compartment is located in the rear of the vehicle. The suspension is independent, with torsion shafts as resilient elements. The undercarriage consists of five support rollers per side, two by five, two rear drive wheels, two front guide wheels, three support rollers per side, two by three, and two tracks with rubber metal joints. The crew of the SAU consists of four men, the vehicle commander, gunner, loader and driver mechanic. Mounted in the front of the hull, the 90mm M36 cannon, borrowed from the American M47 Patton tank, is slightly offset to the right relative to the longitudinal axis of the vehicle and is covered by a massive armor mask. The effective range of fire is 2000 meters, and the rate of fire is 12 rounds per minute. The gun's pointing sector is 30 degrees in the horizontal plane, and from minus 8 degrees to plus 15 degrees in the vertical plane. The gun is aimed at the target by means of manual drives. The gun had an ejection device and was mounted on vertical trunnions. The ammunition consists of 51 rounds and 4000 rounds of ammunition. An infrared searchlight is connected with the main armament, the JPZ-4-5 is equipped with a night vision device. MG-3 machine gun of 7.62mm caliber is paired with the gun, located to the right of the gun, another machine gun of the same caliber, designed to combat air targets is mounted above the commander's hatch. Eight smoke grenade launchers are mounted on the roof of the hull and point forward to provide a smoke screen to cover the vehicle's withdrawal if necessary. The vehicle was equipped with a telescopic sight for the gun and the machine gun coupled with it, a panoramic observation device for determining ranges, and a periscope for the mechanic driver. The engine transmission compartment was located in the aft part of the vehicle, and housed an 8-cylinder V-shaped liquid-cooled, supercharged, multi-fuel, liquid-cooled Daimler-Benz MB837AA 8-cylinder diesel engine with an output of 368 kilowatts, which had the same cylinder piston group dimensions as the Leopard engine, and a rank hydromechanical planetary three-stage transmission, similar to the Leopard transmission. The reversing mechanism allowed the vehicle to move backward at the same speed as forward, as well as to turn around on the spot. However, traveling at high speed in reverse was not always possible due to limited visibility. The maximum speed was up to 70 km per hour. The hull of the SAU is sealed. The vehicle was equipped with air conditioning and filter ventilation system. Without special training the vehicle could overcome fords up to 1.40 meters deep, and with equipment for underwater driving, up to 2.10 meters. The combat weight of the JPZ-4-5 is 27.5 tons. In the late 70s, the designers of the JPZ-4-5 proposed to replace the 90mm cannon with a more powerful 105mm gun, which would have prolonged the stay in combat service until the late 80s. The Belgian army has 80 JPZ-4-5S in service, which have minor differences from the basic model. These vehicles are made in Belgium from components obtained from Germany. Their suspension and transmission are similar to the corresponding units of the Martyr BMP. The Belgian-made fire control system includes a laser sight, 
German MG3 machine guns are replaced by Belgian FN MAG-58. The hull of the anti-tank missile system, Jag Panzer Racky, is almost indistinguishable from that of the JPZ-4-5 tank fighter. The Jag Panzer Racky was designed to work in conjunction with its cannon counterpart to significantly increase the depth of the anti-tank defense. It is armed with two launchers for French-made SS-11 ATGMs. The vehicle's ammunition consists of 14 ATGMs capable of engaging heavily armored targets at ranges from 500 to 3000 meters. This model is also armed with a target and course machine gun, and eight smoke grenade launchers. Between 1967 and 1968, 370 rocket-powered tank fighters were built for the German army. Within five years, all Jag Panzer Rakit were rearmed with the Franco-German-made NOT, high subsonic optically guided tube launched anti-tank missile system compared to the ss-11 this system has a number of advantages it is capable of engaging targets that ranges from 75 to 4000 meters loading the launcher is much simpler and the accuracy of fire has increased to register a hit the operator only needs to hold the target in the lens of his optical device which has a 7x magnification the self-propelled PTRK with the new armament is called Jaguar-1. Its transportable ammunition consisted of 20 knot missiles, which were later replaced by an improved version, knot-2. Between 1983 and 1985, 162 of the 770 JPZ-4-5 self-propelled vehicles were rearmed with the tow TTRK, and the rest were transferred to the territorial forces. The new self-propelled system was named Jaguar-2. The launcher is lowered down when in the hiking position. The n tas for thermal imaging site is used for night firing. The armor protection of both self-propelled ATGMs has been enhanced by mounting additional armor plates on the frontal part and sides of the hull. Additional armament includes 7.62mm machine guns. The vehicles are equipped with filter ventilation units and have radio communication facilities. Maximum highway speed is 70 km per hour, range is up to 400 km. Jaguar 1 Self-Propelled PTRK The Jaguar 1 was intended to operate in conjunction with its cannon counterpart to significantly increase the depth of the anti-tank defense. The Jaguar-1 was armed with two French-made S3-11 ATGM launchers. The vehicle's ammunition set consisted of 14 ATGMs, capable of engaging heavily armored targets at a range of 500 to 3000 meters. This model also had a targeting and course machine gun, as well as eight smoke grenade launchers. Within five years, all Jaguars were rearmed with the Franco-German-made NOT, high subsonic optically guided tube launched anti-tank missile system compared to the ss-11 this system has a number of advantages it is capable of engaging targets at ranges from 75 to 4000 meters loading of the launcher is much simpler and the accuracy of fire has increased to register a hit the operator only needs to hold the target in the lens of his optical device which has a 7x magnification the Jaguar-1 self-propelled anti-tank missile system, which is equipped with 12 launchers each, has been in service with the Bundeswehr since 1978. 316 Jaguar-1 anti-tank missiles have been delivered to the Bundeswehr. The hull of the Rakuten-Panzer Panzer anti-tank missile system is almost indistinguishable from the hull of the 90mm JPZ-4-5 self-propelled Jag Panzer anti-tank artillery unit on the basis of which it was created. The front part of the hull is reinforced with additional armor plates, as additional protection against shaped charge warheads, onboard shields are installed. The aiming and launching equipment includes a single unit with a variable magnification optical sight, for X and 12X, and control equipment, as well as a compact turret, which contains a mechanized ammunition loader for eight ATGMs, a retractable rail with a device for jettisoning an empty transport and launch container, and an automatic loading mechanism. The rest of the ammunition, 12 missiles, is located in the combat compartment of the launcher. Due to the automatic loading the rate of fire of the system reaches 3 rounds per minute. 
The Jaguar 1 is equipped with two 7.62mm machine guns as auxiliary armament. One of them is mounted in the ball mount next to the driver mechanic, and the other is mounted on the turret of the commander's turret. In addition, the vehicle is equipped with grenade launchers for smoke screens and a filter ventilation unit, which allows the vehicle to fight in contaminated terrain. The Jaguar 1 self-propelled PTRK can cross fords 1.4 meters deep without preparation, and 2.1 meters deep with preliminary preparation. The Jaguar 2 self-propelled anti-tank gun. Adopted by the Bundeswehr in 1982, the Jaguar 2 self-propelled anti-tank gun is based on the Jagpanzer self-propelled anti-tank gun. The hull is reinforced with additional armor, as was done in the case of the Jaguar 1, and instead of the gun in the combat compartment on a rising carriage with a hydraulic drive is placed the launcher TOW, which can be guided within plus 30 degrees in azimuth and from minus 10 degrees to plus 15 degrees in the angle of position. Operator protection during firing is provided by armored hatch flaps. The Jaguar 2 is equipped with a filter ventilation unit, night vision devices, a radio station, and smokescreen grenade launchers. Unlike the Jaguar 1, it has only one 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the turret of the commander's turret. The TOW launcher is lowered downward when in the marching position. In 1986, about 160 Jaguar II anti-tank missile systems entered service with the fighter anti-tank companies of tank brigades, 12 vehicles each. The 331 kW diesel engine allows the vehicle to reach a maximum speed of 80 km per hour on the highway. The Casador can travel up to 560 km without refueling.